All right, welcome back. It's been a few days. Uh, kind of got cold here, and I'm out in the sunroom. And when it's 20 degrees, it's kind of hard to get out here. Even in this room, it kind of gets cold, even though it's closed off. But during the day, uh, I can get out here and do some things. So I've been working on the cockpit, <clears throat> trying to get that installed. Um, it's been kind of a butcher session because. That's just how it goes with these Skymaster cockpits. Um, they're oversized, uh, so you're going to have to trim them. They are not to scale. They're actually bigger seats than they should be. So, um, that is what it is. But what I was trying to do is trying to make the seat arrangement and locations as close to the real one. I just looked at some cockpit F-18F cockpit pictures. And the rear seat does sit a little higher, lower seat, front seat sits lower, and the cross beam, which is on the cockpit, is kind of where the, the back seater um, instrument panel dash uh, goes, and that's kind of what I was trying to do. So I had to trim uh, this one. This is the back seat. You can kind of see the, the trim out there for the seat. And the back seat, I'll show you in a minute, um, is going to sit on top of the frame. The front seat bucket, which I had to trim, this is rough. I basically just took a, this stuff, when you cut it, it cracks. So what I did was I started taking kind of a hot knife and just heating it up and melting, basically melting cuts. So the back here is for the um, launch strut on the nose wheel, the catapult strut that comes down the arm. Even with me trimming trimming the over oversized one to more of a scale, it still kind of hits. And then the wheels, because they're so big, there again the front the nose wheels are, are, are larger than they should be. Even if they weren't they probably still would hit. But so you have to cut like these two little channels here and they just barely go into the cockpit, you know. And this will be kind of under behind the cockpit panel so you really wouldn't see this, especially if you had pilots in there. Um, and how I'm mounting the back seat is, like I said, it's going to sit on top of the frame, and then I put this wood block here on each side, and, and then of course this is kind of like a uh, a space filler, so when you put the screw in, it doesn't like crush it. It sits against these, and they're kind of shaped. I got to paint them black, and then in the front, I made put two blocks on each side with the little and these extra blocks on top which are kind of extra support that kind of pushes it up up under and then the cockpit will sit up here I still have to make a um, mounting for that but what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the jet over put it in and then basically just put some of these little blocks underneath it to kind of hold it in place and then and then just tack it with a little bit of shoot uh, with goop um, that way it's still removable, but I can take the cockpit buckets in and out that will stay in there I don't really need I can I can get access to everything from the front tray and with this out that that can stay in I still need to replace the cockpit uh, It's got a big crack in it. So this will get replaced too, but uh, So I'll put it put it in here and kind of show you how it, it looks for the moment I'm just, Grab the. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. You kind of have to work them in here. So, this one you have to do. Kind of do it at a side angle. And then it sits in there like that. I'm going to put this guy in there. For now, too. And then I'm gonna have to set this down for a second. Give me one second here. This goes up in here. There you go. You can kind of see it just slides slides under in those channels and it looks perfect 
you know, he's kind of looking straight through his thing. Back bucket, real simple. Oops, sorry for the camera view there. Anyway, so the seat will come back just a hair, like I said. And then the screws here and here will hold the back seat in. The front isn't going to go anywhere because it won't go aft because of this bucket. And I'm going to put a brace in front to stop it from sliding forward. And then, excuse me, this guy is going to go just like that. So that's how they go in. Um, this will get this whole inner frame is actually black on the row, and so it's going to get painted black. So this will get painted black too to match. But the buckets are gray. The the dash panels and seats are black. So that's how I'm doing the cockpit. So not using these will go in last. Like I said, once I they should just be held in with glue. These things are very thick and. Heavy. I don't know why they just use a 3D printer to do that, but that's how it goes so far. And it's it's close to, unless you get one of those 3D printed cockpits that I've seen. Um, I did remove those little simulated little locks um, just because you can't get this to seat properly with that cockpit. So. But I may go back and put them in. All right, I'll get on there. Sorry for the bad videoing, but anyway, so that's kind of what you're looking at with the cockpit slow lowered. I still have the top pieces to put on, so that one will be pretty much close to the top of the canopy like that one is, well this one's kind of sitting down so and the center piece actually needs to come up higher um, the back seat really can't see over it in the picture so I'll probably just take and it take a little wedge with some kind of an angled piece and lift it up and kind of angle a little bit more so it'll be kind of closer to the top of the back of the, the front seat so that's what we're going for but it's getting there. It just takes time figuring this one out. So you guys take it easy. Um, that's about it. It um, for now. Yeah, that's really all I've been doing. So you guys take it easy, and uh, we'll get back to it later.